Hi, my name is Eric Lawson. I'm the Director of Technology and Libraries for the York School Department in York, Maine. Um, I'm really excited because we're just getting back from our winter break and Google Classroom has announced some great new features that I wanted to walk you through. So first of all, you'll notice that the user interface has changed a little bit. In fact, if I click on Classwork right now, you can see it looks a lot different. It looks a little bit like Google Calendar for those of you who migrated over. Um, the great feature though, and this proves they're listening to feedback, I can take something like this ancestry project probably should be after the digital storytelling. I can click and I can drag this anywhere I want, including in the correct order. No more click on the Oreos and go up or down one or two. I can absolutely click and drag these and rearrange the order. So that's perfect because it helps me stay organized. The other great thing is grades are still here. So if I click on the grades tab, I get this quick overview of things that have been graded, things that have been turned in, things that are still missing from all of my students. And if I go back to classwork, I can also look at the assignments. So it gives me this little preview of what's been turned in, assigned and returned. I can click on view assignment. And on this left side, you'll see I have um, a quick little drawer that shows me what's been turned in, what's missing and who's turned it in. I can also check here to see what's been graded, if, if the assignment's ungraded or if I'm grading it and what the point scale is. I also have the ability to go in and provide feedback for my students. So what I love about this is when I click on somebody's assignment, it opens it up in one tab. But instead of having multiple tabs, like I would have 25 tabs open and anybody who works with me knows that I have a tab problem. Um, I actually can keep it here within one tab and I can quickly just see all the people that are in my class who has turned it in what's missing. I also can toggle left or right between what's been turned in, what's been missing. So I can easily just grade or provide feedback to all of my students without opening up extra tabs. The other great feature in this new grading tool as well is that I have the ability to add private comments so I can talk to Aditya myself right now without anybody in the class seeing it. But the greatest feature is this new comment bank, which has been around for a little bit. Um, I can add comments and I can preload comments in the comment bank so that then when I um, highlight something and go to provide a, a quick little comment on the side, if I use the hashtag symbol or the pound symbol, um, it automatically brings up those comments that I have preloaded in the comment bank. So I could say, for instance, check for grammatical mistakes because this happens quite often with the students that I have. It saves me a ton of time, keeps me focused and organized and allows me to rearrange all my assignments and keep kids on track with Gradebook. So I'm excited about these new opportunities that Google Classroom has come up with, and I hope you are too. See you soon.